screen here. Just going to do a little demo on reflexology in babies, but it's also apl applicable in adults. Okay. But this is just the baby one. So it's more or less for mommies in the home. So we say that the big toe represents the head and the little toe is the sinuses and that. So this is a brilliant for babies who'd be teething. This little chap isn't teething yet, but it's for babies who'd be teething. So you just gently rub the toes like that. And down, this is our spine. So we go down the spine. So if a baby that's a bit chesty, all you do is just go across the sole of the foot like that. Just across the ball, that's your chest area. And if you have a baby that's having little problems with the ears, you go in underneath there, the two last toes, and the inside of the big toe. And he likes it. And then we have the, ab this is the abdomen, right? So if he's having a little bit of bother with his tummy, you'll go into that area. And if it's the bowel, you'll go on down into this area. And this represents the bladder. And that can be, if there's constipation, this is a great spot to rub and to press and just along here. This then is the shoulder area. Yeah. And then we go on down to the elbows and down to the lower limbs. And if we go to the top of the foot, we have the lymphatics. So ideal after your baby have had any kind of cold or anything coming down like that to rub the lymphatics to help the body cleanse itself. And if it's snotty and a bit nosy across the nose there, if you feel it's the tonsils. I did a boy, he's now 35 years of age and he still has his tonsils, but he had had repeated tonsillitis when I was starting my training. And we just did this. A feather touch across here at every nappy change and he stopped having antibiotics. He'd had four under the age of six months. And we'll go to the other foot because the bowel in the other foot goes up and across, okay? goes across and down on the left foot. That's about the only thing you really need to know in the reflexology. Otherwise, just massaging any part of the foot is lovely. Lovely after a bath or maybe before they go to sleep at bed. To, before they go to sleep in bed at night time. Lovely relaxing thing to do. But the thing I like most about reflexology for a baby and children is the fact that you can use it as a preventative medicine. And in this way, we prevent a lot of little things that may show up, like colds and flus and earaches and chest infections and tummy upsets and teething and um, anything, really. It's a very simple thing to learn. Usually when my clients are in with their babies, I will show them the areas in the foot always to do at home. So it allows the parent to be participant in the care of their child. But as a preventative medicine, I couldn't advise better. And we do run classes and little workshops on uh, foot reflexology for the family. Thank you. And thank you. Star of the show.